What's up traders, mm -hmm. Andrew O'Connell here with Pristine Capital. Welcome to your market recap video. It's November 7th of 2022. We had a very mixed bag of price action for today. We had stocks like DWAC just ripping to the upside in pure meme fashion. But then we had other things like the ARK Innovation ETF and Tesla just getting ripped and destroyed. So let's dive into today's price action. These indices we can see were pretty mixed, right? We had advances in the Dow Jones, which is our big leader for today. We have the NASDAQ up 1.1%, finally catching a bid. But then our long bond ETF, the TLT was still down yet again. And that actually dragged the ARK Innovation ETF with it. The VIX, which opened up in positive territory, actually finished out a bit lower, which is good. We had 63% of volume. The trend model does remain at a plus one. And check this out. I mean, most of the market fared pretty well today, other than Tesla, which got smoked. And perhaps it's investors that are saying, you know, Tesla's got such a big valuation and now it's only got a part-time CEO. There's plenty of reasons uh, for this little fall in the stock, but we'll have to see if that one regains its footing. Utilities also suffering today. You can see some red across that region of the market as well. Well, what was the big winner for today? Energy was up 1.72%. Social medias did pretty well also on the back of a nice meta bounce. And we have the semiconductors up 2.16% for the session. In terms of style factors, what do we have? The quality style factor led up 1.15%. And that's a key nuance. In this market of higher interest rates, we're seeing the companies that are being rewarded the most are the companies that have positive operating cash flows and the companies that have low price to earnings ratios. These are the quality names. A lot of the companies that emphasize future cash flows, future growth, stories, etc. Those are the names that are really being picked apart by the market. In terms of trades, what did we do today? We took two trades from our pristine capital weekend watch list. First one was getting long meta, and this was just due to the catalyst that they were gonna be announcing those layoffs. Got long for $93.20. Then we also got long the Matic crypto token for $1.27. There's a lot going on with Matic. Uh, JP Morgan actually did their first cryptocurrency trade and they did it via Matic and the Polygon network. So that one's pretty cool. And then Instagram, I believe, was also partnered um, and they're going to be using Matic for minting NFTs. So Instagram, huge accounts and whatever, if they want to do an NFT launch, they can do so using the Matic blockchain. Let's take a look at these indices, the S&P 500 finished out in the most ambiguous position possible. Remember, the CPI is the most important data point this week. It's coming out Thursday. Everything ahead of that report means absolutely nothing. Whether we get a hot CPI report or a cool CPI report is likely going to determine the next direction for the market. And the S&P 500 closed right at this teal downward trend line. So we're pretty much right on resistance, but we did close out above this monthly value area high. And we're also above the 20 day simple moving average. Let's see where we got to on the hourly chart. Yeah, look at that. We're right at the weekly point of control, right around 38, 16 spot, two, five. So we just ran right into resistance. Let's take a look at our NASDAQ. Oh, and I also wanna show you the dollar. We gotta check that out. NASDAQ, nice little balance, still looks pretty horrible, am I right? Well, let's go through a few charts that are pretty important. The dollar index, for whatever reason, once we got that NFP data on Friday, the dollar index just bit the bullet and really just fell out of bed. We've made a peak back in late September. Then we made lower high number one and lower high number two. We've already made our first low. We'll call this, you know, the initial trough. Then we made a lower low. And now here we are moving to the downside again. So potentially if we get this CPI report on Thursday, it comes out a little bit light. This could mean a rollover in the dollar, but our bond market is still not behaving. Look at this, our 10 year treasury future trading below value, just not doing what we want it to. And our 30 year treasury future also doing the same, but there are some interesting charts 
to take a look at here. And let's start off with the ever polarizing DWAC. Now, this stock just zoomed right out of the gate this morning. Apparently, Donald Trump may be announcing a presidential bid. Who knows if that's going to happen? I do think that if he does announce his bid for the presidency, that could end up being a sell the news event for DWAC. But nonetheless, the stock is trading up at 30 bucks. The initial SPAC price was 10 bucks. So definitely a pretty pretty wild move in this ticker. And what else do we have? The semiconductors ended up performing pretty well today, up 2.16%, breaking out of value. We had an interesting move in Crocs. This was another name from our weekend watch list. And this one pulled back, pretty violent action here on lower volume. And we ended up closing above value. This could definitely be a name to watch. And then what else do we have? Another name looking pretty interesting. The financial stocks are doing much better off of the higher interest rates. NASDAQ looks like we're forming a bit of a VCP pattern right here. And let's take a look. The other theme we got to check out, the energy stocks are just not stopping, team. This one, I believe it's actually a coal company. Um, BTU trading up out of that monthly value. We're in a nice breakout for today. And then what else do we have? Um, another name that we are watching, Anet. This is a position that we added maybe two days ago. Still looking pretty solid out of the growth stocks. And then, of course, we've got SMCI, which is another leading technology company. This one's really just been consolidating for a few days. And we also have our RMBS. This stock, Semiconductor's name that just blasted off. It's been straight accumulation for maybe the past 20 days. So as I look at this market, it's definitely a tale of the haves and have nots. There are some companies that have more reasonable valuations that are zooming to the upside, but then there's plenty of names getting left behind, like Tesla. Look at this. We have a breakdown on our hands team. We broke below this monthly value area. And if we zoom out to the weekly chart, the stock really has to catch its footing. We have our yearly value very low at 187.06. That's definitely a good level to be cognizant of on the downside. With that said, that about does it for today's market recap video. Hope you all had a great session. We'll see you all next time.